Time now for Don Spotlight. I'm really proud of what we did this year. I mean, seeing the season as a whole and just kind of remembering all the good things that happened. If you look at the bigger picture, I think that overall we had a very successful season. And I think that it's going to be one that we can look back on and just be proud of. First game, we just gave it to USC Davis, and I was just looking around on the bench like, this is something, and then we kind of had it rolling. We were feeling really good at that point. Amari drives to the basket, throws right corner, Retino three. You know, it was one of the best starts that USF has had in so long, and we just were happy to be a part of that. Loose ball, Ferrari, bounce it ahead, Bouye, drop it off to Renfro, Silva maxed up with Brentford. It was really nice to be able to play Stanford at home. Loose ball, picked up by Ferrari, ahead Bouye. Bouye to the basket, jump! A one-hand tomahawk game! And the USF Dons are 12 and 1. This shows what level we're trying to get to and where the program is going. Retino ahead to Ferrari, Midland, jam! I mean, beating Pac-12 teams is always great, and being the best in the Bay is something to be proud of. USF Dons take on the St. Mary's Gales in the league opener. I felt like at that time in the season we were really kind of peaking, and that was the culmination of the work we'd done in the preseason. Kind of put a statement on where we were at that time. Ball spins around in Banker, scores! What a move by Jimbo! It was nice to just be able to, you know, like set the tone for the beginning of conference play. You know, show our crowd what we're what we're trying to do and what we're doing this season. Krabs blocked by Bouye, game over. That'll do it. And the USF Dons have won the ball game. Tonight to a WCC battle for first place. Fifth rank Gonzaga and the USF Dons. I think we were undefeated at home at the time. Um, so we really wanted to, you know, show our crowd what we could do. Three up and boom. We're neck and neck with him the whole game. The crowd was really into it. It was so great. Just like there were moments just sitting around, like timeouts, you know, Kyle's talking, you just like looking around like like this is really something, like we're a part of something awesome here. USF playing blow for blow with the fifth ranked team in the country. San Francisco gave Gonzaga everything they wanted. A heck of a game. Break it. Obviously, you're playing at the Marriott Center full of, you know, 20,000 people. Playing in that gym in Utah is just rough. Like, that's really hard to get done. Oz pull up triple. Good at the buzzer. Minlin, right side dribble drive. Underneath the basket, reverse layup. Ooh. The 15 guys that are on the team and the coaching staff, that's all that you have in that building. Just to be able to, you know, rally together and band together to get that win was just so exciting at that time of the season. What a shot by Ferrari! This game is over! And the USF Dons have marched into the Marriott Center and come from behind. Number 10, Max McCarthy! That was a pretty emotional moment, that last game. Just to see the love and appreciation from the fans and the administration. Sometimes it goes a little bit unnoticed how much you've affected people and how much pride we brought to the university. There's now an expectation of winning, like there's a culture here now. Todd, the guys have been around him for what, three years now. We know Todd, like we really respect him. We think he's going to be a great coach. Drive going left is what he looks to do, okay? One or two dribbles, then throw. If you throw back, then that guy bring it, all right? The guys really respect him. And I just think that they will be very successful and I wish them the utmost success. I think that we brought a lot of excitement back to the Hilltop and I'm just so grateful to be a part of something like that. Something bigger than, you know, basketball and just being able to engage in the community and bring, you know, people back, bring back alumni and just excite people about basketball on the Hilltop. Um, I think that's been just a great experience for me and um, something that I'll remember forever. The wow. and Nate Renfro throws it down. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs>